morning. Welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. Today is an extra tired morning. Um, I even sound tired. It's only 6.15 a.m., um, but I'm up early today because I'm going for a run. A stinking run. Um, and we leave on Thursday for Disneyland where I'm doing the 10K and half marathon. And I've never actually done an early morning run. I've always done them in the evening and the earliest I've done was like 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so I figured I should do an early morning run. Uh, and I have other things to do today. So the main thing is so I can find out what I need to eat, which is leaving it a little late in the game considering this is my last run. But anyways, um, hoping that I'm not gonna get a cramp. Uh, so I did a lot of research as well. So this is what I came up with. So I'm having a banana and then I'm gonna take these granola bar, or not granola bars, protein bars. It is organic live food bar raw revolution and this is almond buttercup. So it looks like this. Um, it's not particularly good. Uh, <laughs> it tastes like, well, it has dates as the second ingredient and that's what it tastes like, or I actually thought figs, but yeah, it tastes like dates. And yeah, I got a whole box of them. I wouldn't recommend them really because they don't taste that good. Um, but oh well, I'll use them up. But if you guys know of a really good like protein bar that tastes good, and that will be good for like long sustainable energy, let me know. And I mean, it won't work for this weekend, but at least I'll know for the future. <sighs> I'm so tired. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a run. Um, a couple days ago, I did 15 kilometers, which was very proud of myself. Unfortunately, that was the longest I had done, even though a half marathon is 21 kilometers. But what's another six, you know? Um, but today, I think I'm only going to do eight because I don't want to push myself too much. I just basically want to see if I'm able to have enough energy um, and not get a cramp. And I do have, for my longer runs, um, like special gels and gummies um, that'll give you energy. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna take it just for a short run. So I thought my arm was getting tired just because I'm so tired. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for a run, then I'm gonna, you know, have a shower and then get all prettied up and go dog walking and stuff and I eat something better. But I'm just gonna go eat my granola bar, my banana, and then wait a little bit and then go for a run. Okay, we'll check in with you guys later. Breakfast time, everyone's eating, the dogs included. We got some of this for Molly, that for Chloe, and that for Trixie. You're done already. And Tripsy's over there in her kennel. Probably done as well. Um, back from my run, I actually didn't get a cramp. I, uh, it was starting to come, but I was able to breathe through it, whereas sometimes it's just so awful. So I think I'll have that for the run. Um, also, right now I just ate it 15 minutes before I went running, but there, I think you have to be there at 4.30 in the morning, and the race only starts at 5.30, and then by the time my corral gets called, because I'm near the back, because I'm not a fast runner, um, and there's 15,000 people that are running, um, it's even later, so I think it'll be okay. Anyway, so for now, post-workout, pre-day smoothie. I have a blueberry smoothie. Um, we had frozen blueberries and then I just put some milk, some ice. I think a bit too much ice. It's a bit too, yeah, oops, <laughs> a bit too, I don't know, almost like an ice cream or something. Um, and then some agave nectar to make it a little sweet and some protein whey powder. So I'm gonna drink this. It's okay. Uh, I'm gonna drink this and then we're gonna go for our walk. For lunch we are having some kind of new things, other things just trying to get rid of leftovers or like items that we still have, like vegetables. Um, so we are using these Mediterranean spinach and chickpea patties that we picked up from Costco as you saw my Costco haul and we're making them into wraps and then originally we were gonna have it with tzatziki which is why we have that out here but then we realized we have a whole bunch of mushrooms that are not gonna stay good for like weeks oh and that's Chloe playing so we have just mushrooms and onions some cheese um and I don't know what sauce I want we still have tzatziki we have jalapeno ranch that glaze that's really good on salad and then also the um, chipotle thing actually almost everything is from Costco today <laughs> and then also we have some do you want to turn that around baby we have some of the red potato salad and we're kind of working in a mess. I'm still working on fin finishing my costume, so that's why everything is here. And then for drinking, we have peach cider, because it's never too early to drink in the day. Ah, uh, and I'm not gonna have it for dinner. So yes, this is everything we're having, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all made. So I decided for all these oh. things. Oh. I thought <laughs> it was a small one. Ah! 
<laughs> oh dear. Anyways, and so this comes out kind of like thicker. Mm -hmm. And then some potato salad. Yeah, and I cut up the falafel, or not waffles anymore. And that's what they look like inside. They're kind of green. But they taste really good. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes really good. And that balsamic gives a little sweetness, so it's all good. And then there's the jalapeno ranch, the tangy. It's actually a really nice combination. Ah! I'm so impressed. Just kind of throwing random things together. It actually worked out. So for dinner, again, we're just making or using leftover food that we still have. Um, actually, we don't have a lot of stuff. Um, we wanted to have like pasta or something, even though I don't eat a lot of pasta, but Chad wanted to have pasta or rice. We don't really have any of that. Uh, so we're just gonna make some tofu and then we decided to make some peanut noodles. Um, or not noodles, peanut sauce to put on the tofu. Um, so I just made peanut sauce. Um, yeah, there is peanut butter, garlic, soy sauce, balsamic vinegar. Oh, I didn't do sugar, but that's okay. Pepper. Oh, I didn't do salt and the hot water. And I got it from this book, the This Can't Be Tofu book. And so they have a lot of great things. And yeah, and then just making the tofu, and then I'm going to pour it on top. And then we just have these little ciabatta buns. Ah, go back in there in the toaster right now. So this is what it turned out. Not the most appetizing. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes good. I'm like almost tempted to add like jelly and it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but no, since there's like soy sauce and paprika, it's not really like a sweet peanut butter. It kind of has a bite to it, which I like. I'm sure it'll be good. Chad didn't want to have it on his bread. He's just going to have them separately. <laughs> He's not as adventurous. But yeah, I don't know what else. I'd put like lettuce or I don't know what else to put on. We don't really have anything else to use up or use. We don't have anything at all. Um, so I'm just going to try this and I think that's going to be it. I'll update you guys again if I do have anything else, but I don't think so. Thanks so much for watching, and my next one will be a... Actually, I'll be on the go. I'll be traveling, so, you know, don't usually eat airport food, but you'll see next Wednesday, Wednesday, I will be on planes and driving and stuff. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.